I'm going to have a go at example two now. Two metal plates, 2.5 millimetres apart, are connected to a 15 volt battery. This creates an electric field between the plates. Part A asks us to draw a diagram to show the direction of the field lines. So what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which way round you draw your plates, but I'm going to do them this way round. Remembering that the long line is the positive terminal and the short line is the negative terminal of the power pack. Or battery, sorry, it is 15 volts. So this will make our top plate positive and our bottom plate negative. Okay. Then we know the distance between them is 2.5 millimetres, but we have to have that in metres. So we're going to divide by a thousand this time because there are a thousand millimetres in a metre and we should get 0 0.0025 metres. Okay, so the part A asks us to draw in the direction of the field lines. So it's the direction that a positive charge would move. And make sure that those lines are the same distance apart that they're at right angles to the plate and that we have some curved ones at the end. So that's our answer to A, the electric field lines. Part B, calculate the electric field strength. In this case, we're going to need to use voltage divided by distance. So that's 15. We've given that in the question and we've already converted our distance in millimetres to metres. So there is our calculation. And when you work that out, you should get 6,000 volts per metre. Part C asks us what is the other equation for calculating the electric field strength. And it is F over Q. Now, we've just I've just rearranged that from this equation here by taking the Q from down from this side and dividing. So that's where that one's come from. And part D says a 25 times 10 to the minus 6 coulomb charge is placed inside the field. Calculate the electric force on the charge. So this time our charge is 25 times 10 to the minus 6. We already know our electric field strength. We've worked that out in B. 6,000 volts per metre. And the force is E times Q from this equation here. So that's 6,000 times 25 times 10 to the minus 6. And when you put all that into your calculator, you get 0 0.15 newtons. Okay, and then it's asking you for the direction of the force. Okay, and we've got a positive charge here. So the positive charge is going to be attracted to the negative plate. So the direction of the force will be down. So the direction is down, downwards, or towards the negative plate. Please ask if there's anything in this video that you don't understand. Thanks.